Hey, what's up, people of the internet? Welcome to this video in which we do. I'll be talk uh, in this video. I'll be talking about variable sharing between two files. So, when you build a more complex C++ programs, they're not going to be only one main file. They're going to be several files. Some file that it stores structures. Some file that store uh, your functions and other other things. So there can be more than one file. Long story short. So in this program, this will be a very simple program. Nothing great here. This is just for demonstration purposes. I'm using two files: the main.cpp file, where every file is kind of linked to it. Every it is kind of like a tree trunk, and every other program is like a root. Everything is linked to the main.cpp file, and and uh, this is the main.cpp file. And the next file is extra thing.cpp. I just call it extra thing.cpp because, uh, well, it's just an extra thing in this simple video demonstration all right so let's go ahead and get started let's declare a variable in z and uh, let's say it set it value something like 13 um, just 13 who cares now in z here if you have already familiar with uh, the way variables are stored in the scope of variables you know that int z it has a file scope and what does that mean let me just show you i can just go ahead into there oops a return zero is important because of the end here all right so I, what i can go go ahead and go ahead and use my z variable in the main function and uh, it can be fairly used. It has a file scope. That means it can be used in any function inside this main.cpp file. So I can go ahead and declare another, another another function here. Let's call it whatever function. And we will go ahead and see how see. I'm writing this function above main because I don't want a hassle of uh, function prototypes in the video demonstration. But uh, you have to use function prototypes when you are building programs that's a good practice so here it goes I can use it this this program is C out of 13 here then I can go ahead and call the function my inside main PD and I can run it and this will should display two times 13 so the main idea was this integer Z can be used anywhere in this file alright so let's go ahead into extra thing dot CPP and I'll declare a new function uh, let's call it a simple function and we're gonna okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, C out Z because you know the extra thing dot CPP compiles along with main dot CPP that means uh, can integer Z be used in extra thing dot CPP well let's compile yeah so before we even go ahead and let's declare this function prototype in the main dot CPP because it's always important to declare a function prototypes here all right, I declare the function prototype, and let's go ahead and call this simple function in my main. Oops, I am simple function in the main .cpp file. I'm gonna run it, and oh oh oh, what happened? Let's look at the error. It says error z was not declared in this code, and you're like z. Oh, well, it is there in main. Why isn't it? Why isn't it working? Well because in z actually has a file scope I, I have mentioned before that z can be used anywhere in this file and not in any another file of the of your project so but you're like but i want to use it here okay then there c++ has a solution for you it's using the extern keyword so you can go and extern int z so what extern does is pretty much uh you know gives uh gives an external linkage of z to the extra thing dot cpp file so that we can use the same variable here over in this file so i can go ahead and run this program and it works perfectly fine like it should work okay and now uh i'm going to talk about something else let's say you have some variable called count here we're just keeping count of something and uh, yes you want to use it or use it over here well definitely you can use it over here and anyway you can go ahead and see out count and i can get rid of this here okay i can just go ahead and see out count it should display 30. now there is another file in your program which also keeps count of something else which is totally different from what keeps count of in main.cpp file and uh you're like okay it keeps count of something and count is a very simple name and it, it's easy to interpret I want to use the word count here too and then you'll be like okay let's go ahead and declare my own count variable here and I'll go ahead and uh, see out count 
over here and that should everything should work fine and then you run the program and oh 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 there is an error multiple definition of count what's that let me explain integer count is over here also integer count is over here also that's the simplest definition I can give because count you see has been declared twice because these two files are compiled together and they're like okay integer count is here and oh what integer count is again here Bam it hands up there's an error what do you do then well you want a variable that has the name count because it's keeping count of something simple name and you want that variable to be known to only this file it should not go ahead and interfere with any other file it's variable names so what you do is you go ahead and declare a static you add a static keyword in front of it and everything is fine again because this static means that this count variable is known only to extra thing.cpp main.cpp has no idea whether extra thing.cpp has the count variable in it or not every static variable inside extra thing is static which means that it is inside extra thing.cpp what happens in vegas stays in vegas nothing goes out here similar thing if you are already experienced, if you already have a knowledge about how variables are declared stacks and statics, you might wonder, like, but static is a whole different thing. Well, yeah, it's a whole different thing. I mean, uh, when you have automatic variables and you, in functions, which has a function scope, and uh, then you're like, when you add static, it is stored, it has a file scope then. Uh, well, I'm talking about intermediate viewers, if you, are, or if you are a beginner and you don't know what I'm talking about doesn't matter all right and then you're like okay static means it has a file scope but let me explain even if I remove static from here in count will still have a file scope even if I put static here it will still have a file scope so when you add static in front of a variable which is a file scope it means that it will be known only to that file it files covers the variable inside it it is not visible to any other file so let's go ahead and run our program and everything runs perfectly fine 0 and 13 because this has an error value let's give it some value of 45